Okay, to get started, I added this video clip to my timeline, and I'd like to make everything black and white but my strawberry. To do this, let's begin by going down here to the color tab. Then on the left side, select the RGB mixer control. In the RGB mixer, check the monochrome checkbox to make your video black and white. You can change the look of your black and white by moving around each individual color bar, but I'm going to leave mine mostly alone. Next, make sure your node is selected up here, and then use the Alt-L keyboard shortcut to add a layer mixer to your node. For the next step, make sure your bottom node is selected, and then go down here to the qualifier control, which looks like a dropper. In the selection range area, select the first dropper option. And then in the preview, click your cursor on the color you'd like to isolate. To add a larger range of the color to your selection, you can use the plus dropper. With this, you can either click a specific spot or drag over your color to select more of it at once. Though sometimes you have to be careful with dragging because it'll add color to things you didn't want like this tree. If this happens, just use Ctrl Z to undo the change. Now I'm noticing that whenever I drag around these dark areas, they're giving me trouble because they're a similar shade to the tree. For areas like this, I find the plus feather tool very helpful. It does a better job of covering sensitive areas without bringing unwanted parts of the video in. Finally, I'll just switch back to the plus button to see if I can touch up the edges a bit after the feather to make sure I'm getting all the red in I can. With my shot, my subject doesn't move much, but if yours does, you may need to scrub through your video and add to your color selection as the angles change. Okay, I think this looks pretty good for a quick job, so that's all from me for now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.